Now what we're doing here today is we are actually taking an opportunity to look at decimals and to compare decimals to see which in fact is the larger number. When we're looking at the decimals that we have here on the board, we can see that we have 1 4 tenths versus 1 and 399 thousandths. Well, that can be a little bit confusing for some students when they're first looking at it because we're sitting here trying to figure out, well, how could this number possibly be larger than this number when we see all of these digits behind here? Well, what we need to do is sometimes we need to look at a typical place value chart. What we can remember is, is that anything to the left side of the decimal is a whole number. And in this case, for this number, we have one whole number. And then beyond that, we have four tenths. Now in this number here, we've got one whole number, and we've got three tenths, and then we've got nine hundredths, another nine in the thousands column. So when we're looking at this, it still doesn't exactly seem clear. But what we also know is that when we are uh, doing, dealing with decimals, if we add in zeros, they're not going to change the value of this equation whatsoever. So if I were to add in a zero here and a zero here, it all of a sudden starts to become more clear as to why this number here is the greater of the two digit or the two numbers. And that is simply because four hundred thousandths is larger than three hundred ninety nine thousandths. So when we take all right, let's take a look at a few more examples. Based upon what we've learned already, we understand that we can add zeros to the end of a uh, decimal without changing the overall value. And that is always going to make things a little bit easier for us, especially when we're adding and subtracting decimals, and especially when we're comparing them. So in this case, we've got 1.6 versus 1.599. Now remember, we can simply just add in a couple of zeros here, so now that these, this is even with this, and now we can look and we can actually compare. Well, obviously, this number, 600 thousandths, is much larger, or is much larger, it's one one thousandths larger than 599 thousandths. So in this case, 1.6 would be larger than 1.599. We look at this case, we can do the exact same thing. We see that we've got 1 and 45 thousandths versus 1 and 5 hundredths. Well, that's a tough one to start to figure out. So what we can do is add in a zero, and now this number becomes 1 and 50 thousandths compared to 1 and 45 thousandths. Well, clearly, 50 thousandths is larger than 45 thousandths. When we get to this equation here, we can see that this is 1 and 4 tenths versus 1 and 400 thousandths. Well, the question is, is which of these is actually larger? Well, when we even it out, we soon discover that these two are exactly the same. They are, in fact, equal.